morning everybody welcome to day two of vlogmas i'm just about to do my makeup and stuff i'm just re-watching my vlog from yesterday because it goes up today and just checking that it's all right and stuff still got purple hair <laughs> How funny. I'm just about to do my makeup though because today we're going to my booby consultation. I booked my operation, it's on the 16th of December and I've had my first consultation but this one is to like feel the boobs, <laughs> choose the ones that I want, like the size and stuff. And it's also to get my blood tests done and make sure that my haemoglobin is okay enough for me to actually have the operation and if it's not I'll be so upset I'll literally cry because <laughs> I've got like blood problems my haemoglobin is really low so hopefully by me taking all of my iron tablets and getting strong I can have this operation I thought I'd open the vlog by saying I've been reunited with my granola oh my god look how nice it is it's got like little bits of fruit in it it's like dried fruit oh my god it's so nice and I've got a big jug of almond milk here to pour on it when I'm ready. So if there's one thing I don't like, it's soggy cereal. So that's what's going on right now. I did myself a little cat eye yesterday, and I'm thinking I might do one again today. I kind of liked it when I watched the vlog back, so I might do a cat eye. I've literally just French braided my hair last night and left it in. It's so good having light hair now, because grease doesn't show in it, so it never looks greasy, my hair. Can you see the back? I just Dutch braided it and slept on it. I need to go now because I've got to get ready. I don't have that long to get ready. I woke up like an hour before I have to leave and I've just had a shower and stuff. So I better do my makeup. So I've just finished my makeup. I've gone for the same look that I wore yesterday. Just winged eyeliner and a dark lip. I'm now just going to pack my bag, put my shoes on, put my coat on and then... We're gonna head to my booby consultation. I'm so excited. I might not be able to film in there though, so I'll see if I can, but it might just be like, kind of awkward. And if it's awkward and I don't film, then I will see you at the train station, so we're going to Brighton after. But if I do manage to film, you'll see it now, I guess. Or oh, when I've stopped talking. I mean, this chat could last forever, really. Oh. I need to tidy up, bye. We've just left the house and I'm feeling very Japanese today because I've got winged eyeliner on and dark lipstick and my hair in these little plait things. Kind of stole this idea from Lottie Tomlinson. Hi, if you're watching. I stole your plaits. <laughs> I think they look cool. Oh, how did I get there? <laughs> we we'll zoomed in. I zoomed in without filming this time. Are you excited, Mum? For my boobs. Oh, well. Yes, if it makes you happy. Mum goals. I know you're not having it done for to be the next Playboy the next bunny. Playboy bunny, yeah, exactly. Basically lifting them to where they should be. Yeah, lifting them up, <laughs> putting them under my chin, waking them. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have to go. My arm is aching so bad, and we're kind of in a rush, so I need to go. and I didn't want to film in there because it was a little bit awkward so I thought that I would update you later because I've just got to the train station and we're gonna go get our train to Brighton now but I just thought I would let you know it went really well and I can't wait to tell you all about it and better go now. Mum's just gone to get Starbucks so I'm just gonna go find her. So I decided to try the grape drink never tried it before so we've made it to brighton and we're now gonna go to lakeland because i'm doing this video with evan and it's kind of like a cooking video so i need to go and get some cooking stuff and then i think we're just gonna go shopping and go to go to the sea and it's freezing here We've just been shopping for ages. It's gone dark outside and I went into Lakeland and bought so much stuff for mine and Evan's video. I'm so excited to film it. It's literally about half past four, but it looks so dark. And now we're just gonna go to Starbucks and get a drink. Sorry that I haven't vlogged. I just get awkward in public. I'll get over that. And we've been shopping, so I didn't really want to vlog when I was shopping because obviously I have my hands full. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas. Oh, good evening, everyone. We are now back at home. Ooh, folks on me. 
focus on me. When I was getting ready earlier, my mum decided to tidy the shelves up a little bit, so let me give you a little tour. They're not Christmassy anymore, because that was really stressing me out. <laughs> it was so busy. Hello, Nell Bob. So, on the top shelf, we have, ooh, this is funky. Congratulations for surpassing 100,000 subscribers, Velvet Ghost. Then I have a little house. Then I have this picture of me and Zoe. Then I have a candle. A little Buddha, Zoe's little smelly things, this picture of flowers, a clock, another candle, this picture of Lydia and me, a little deer thing, and another one of these for my vlog channel. Oh my god, and then we have Frank and Jeffrey, and this picture of myself and Zoe, and some books. Then on this shelf we have my little hair, clock, Nerf and Nelly, this thing, that thing, they're both from Primark, this candle, this man, this that I took in New York, this picture from the Halloween party, which is cute, a little marble pear, because who doesn't want a marble pear, another candle, an elephant, this picture of myself, Lucy and Lydia, this love sign from Primark, this that Tabby got me from somewhere that she went, <laughs> I've forgotten, and this pineapple, this one still needs sorting out, but they look so much better and way less cluttered and it's got some new pictures on which is so cute. Don't know where the picture of me and Lucy's, oh it's down there. I might have to move that up because I like that picture and I feel like Lucy's all the way at the bottom and that's not fair. But I thought I would just show you that before I talk about my boob consultation. I went earlier before we went to Brighton and then we went to Brighton and I was too busy shopping and we shopped loads and I didn't really have like a good place to sit down and talk to you about it. So basically I went to choose a size and stuff. I also had an x-ray on my chest because as I've been saying I went to the doctors and they said that my right lung isn't working properly and it could have either been my chest infection that I just settled in it or there was a problem with my right lung and if there is I don't think I can have the operation so they had to give me a chest x-ray so I had that. We were talking about boob sizes and stuff and my surgeon has written down three different ones and he's going to order all three. Um, apparently this is what they do now or something. They order three and then when I'm in the operation he decides which ones fit best. So I think they're all around a D. Maybe there's like D's in different shapes because basically this might get TMI, but my boobs are like quite far apart, if you know what I mean, ignore the cat hair, that is disgusting. My boobs are like start like quite far apart, so he needs to put implants in that are wider so that it gives me like a, a better cleavage. And I'm sure they did that on Shan XO, or she had quite wide boobs. I don't know if they did put wide ones in her, but regardless that's what they're doing with me so i think they might all be different widths and he's going to see which ones look best just to give me a better cleavage not that i'm going to be flashing my tits every day but you never know <laughs> also a lot of you guys might have come from my main channel where i haven't really talked about my boob job so i am getting a boob job i'm not getting it for um, i guess i am getting it for vanity reasons i don't see why that's a bad thing anyway i feel like if you really unconfident with something and you want to change it and you have the money to do so then go for it but don't change too much about yourself because you should also love yourself as you are but if you didn't know i lost eight stone in weight this is long story short my boobs were bigger when i was bigger and then when i shrunk they shrunk too but they kind of got a bit like not saggy but just in the top of them there's not much like boobness so they kind of like flat and then they go into boobs like it's kind of like an empty sack. You know when you hold marbles in a bag and there's like the bag and then the marble? It's like that. I've run no shame, do I? <laughs> ah! So I've been unconfident with them for a long time. I don't want anyone to look at my boobs. So I've saved up and I'm going to get them done and it's going to make me so much more confident. They're just a thing that are not like a 21 year old's boobs anymore. I feel like they're like 60 year olds and they don't make me confident and I would love to just go out and wear a v-neck top or something But right now I don't feel like I can because I don't really have good cleavage or good boobs in general Like even people with small boobs can wear tops, but I can't because mine are a little bit saggy So I can't so yeah, I can hear my mum outside. <laughs> oh my god. That is creepy She just came to the door like this Screenshot that if you want to. So that's boob chat, mum, stop. That's boob chat over with for today. I am gonna do a Q&A about it. So if you want to ask questions, ask them in this vlog. I'll probably post that maybe the day that I go and have the operation, which is the 16th, if my chest is okay. So I might post it on the 16th, 
but I might also post it earlier. I'm not too sure yet. I just want a little video to direct people to when they ask about it. So, there we go. I've been talking for seven minutes, apparently. I also am really loving winged eyeliner right now. I don't know if I've said that today, but I think it looks so cool, and I'm actually really liking my hair now. I don't like it when it's down still, but I really like it when it's in plaits. I think it looks so cool. Tomorrow, I'm seeing Hobby. He's coming around, and I think we're going to the cinema. We're going to go watch, what's it called? Spectre, the James Bond film, so that should be fun. I feel like I haven't seen Hobby for like a fun day in forever, so that's going to be really nice. Also, I didn't open my Body Shop advent calendar. If you didn't know, I got sent this advent calendar from the Body Shop, which is amazing. I'm so grateful and I haven't opened day one yet but technically now it is day two it's still the first of December to me today but it's my second vlogmas so it's technically day two so there's number two where's number one here so in day one there was this frosted cranberry shower gel I think it is shimmer lotion oh shimmer lotion oh I'm zooming oh that's cool I love the frosted cranberry scent it's one of my faves and then in this one, in day two, I've got a vitamin E moisture cream, which is so nice as well, just in a little pot. That'd be so good for traveling. So that is day one and two. I need to go upstairs now and eat my chocolate from my proper advent calendar. Hello, Nelbert. Mum, why are you still in the bathroom? Hello. Hello. Mum's going home tomorrow. Ooh. Why are you wooing? I wasn't, I was going, ooh. Oh, I have a lot to sort. Can I tell him? <laughs> My mum has sold my nan's house because you might know that my nan passed away how long ago now? A year ago. A year ago now and my mum didn't want to sell it for ages because obviously all the memories and stuff. She decided to bite the bullet and sell it and it's just sold which is exciting so now she's got to go back home and empty it and move all the furniture and things. So she's going to be absent from vlogmas. Oh, Are you she... crying? No. <laughs> well, You're sussing me lately. <laughs> I don't think I'm a fan. Yeah, she's going until Tuesday. I'll be back. She'll be back. I like my mum to stay with me, in case you wondered, because I like my mum. Something because I clean. No, piss off. Yeah, I like my mum and I like it when she stays and we watch I'm a Celebrity together and it's like our little thing, so why not? And she helps me clean, which is, is very nice and I'm very grateful for that because I am messy. I'm organised, but I'm messy. Like, I'll just leave towels, like... Perfect example right now is my bed. So we've got a towel, a onesie, a sports bra, my perfume, some jeans. Then on the floor we've got a Hunger Games bag, another towel, a wash bag and all of this. I can't stand clutter though. Like my shelves were too cluttered and it was sending me crazy. I can't stand that but I am quite a messy person. But I know where everything is, that's the thing. As soon as mum moves it, I can't find it. Let's open day two of my advent calendar. Where's day two, guys? Can you see it? Oh, it's next to day one. That's a bit silly. What's it say? Sing the song, Do You Wanna Build a Snowman? Do you wanna build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, bye. They say I have courage and I'm trying to. I'm right out here for you, just let me in We only have each other, it's just you and me What are we gonna do? Do you wanna build a snowman? Time to eat my chocolate in celebration Oh, it's a cracker! Are you the person who rips the doors off or do you tuck them back in? Cause I took them back in so it's all neat. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. I went kind of chocolate is the best. I've been talking for 14 minutes. I am back looking like a unicorn. Oh, this blue light though. This light though. I need to get some makeup wipes. Do you know what guys? I have a proper full on skincare routine that I use like five days a week and then like two days a week I just use makeup wipes because I mean who can really be bothered to do it for seven days? Like I've just got in, I've got to edit my vlog now and mine and Zoe's video and my skincare routine and then I can watch I'm a Celebrity. Nelly's ready for Christmas. Don't you look pretty? Wow, ho, ho, ho. You gorgeous boy. 
You got your hat on? Hmm? <laughs> oh my god. He's purring away. He's loving it. What a little babe. As you can see, Nelly's ready for Christmas. I'm gonna sign the vlog off here, guys. I've just edited what you've just seen. <laughs> He's trying to trying to get the hat off, bless him. No, Bobs. Have you got a hat on? Like, yes, you silly witch, you put it on. You got a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly, come on, let's take it off. We don't want to strangle you. Was that fun for a second? Focus on me. I am going to sign the vlog off here. Uh, I've just said that. We're gonna watch I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here Now, or as I like to call it, I'm a Sleb, which sounds like <laughs> I'm a Sleb. <laughs> I'm a Sleb. Does anyone else say that? Let me know, I'm a celeb. And I want Fern to win, let me know who you wanna win. Did I ask this yesterday? I swear I did. Anyway, so we're gonna watch this now and it's about half past 10, so we've recorded it. Then I'm gonna go to bed. Mm, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.